The earliest mention of Limonster is in 901 AD, when Alfred the Great bequeathed it to his nephew Osfred, under the title of Lilligaminster. In 1085, Limonster was recorded in the Doomsday Book. Also, at least 100 years before the Norman Conquest, there was a Saxon Benedictine nunnery. This stood to the south of the present church, where the farmyard now is. The present church of St Mary Magdalene and the Knuckle Hole have played an important part in local history of Limonster. It is said there was probably a church on this side in King Alfred's day. The present church dates from the days of the Saxon nunnery and was built in 1040. Over the last nine and a half centuries it has undergone many changes. The first was the North Isle in 1170. The tower was built up to the second stage in the early 13th century, with the belfry added in the 15th century. The north porch is as much as it was built in 1425 and has retained much of its original character. The church has many stories it could tell, but the one that's most interesting is the story of the Knuckle Hole. Just a little way up the footpath to Arundel there is a large round pool which is now privately owned and is fenced off to the public. It is said that a dragon once lived in this pool. The level of the water never changed and was always icy cold. The dragon ravaged the local countryside and was a menace to the local farmers and livestock. The hero, according to local legend, rose up and slew the dragon. He was buried here in the churchyard and the tombstone marked his grave. It was later removed for security reasons and placed next to the eastern wall by the font. This is the story of the Knuckle Hole as it has been handed down through the generations and goes back to the earliest Anglo-Saxon times. Most people would say that they don't believe in dragons, yet the Saxon word for sea monster is Nikor. One might say that Nikor and Knuckle are one and the same, and yet the locals have always known it as the Knuckle Hole without realising this. <laughs> 